this is day 56 of the 100 night of worship and i'm super excited thank you for those of us who started from the beginning till now uh it's amazing what god is doing and how he's uh, uh changing our focus to understand worship and you see worship is the essence of our existence the bible says uh, for thou hast created all things for thy pleasure and for thy pleasure they are and we are created we are created to give god pleasure to worship him to honor him jesus was talking to the people and he said uh, if you call me master then where is my honor if you call me lord where is my respect there are things that god expects from us and if we don't give it to him then we have uh, 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 it, you are just like uh, um, the cup that is useless. You can't use the cup to, to drink water. Or, or like a flower vase that is useless when you need it to put uh, uh, flowers in it. Or you are like a, a chair that is useless. You cannot sit on it. Or a car that is useless. You can't drive it. Because the purpose for which you are created, you cannot fulfill it. And then it makes you useless. Uh, it makes you non-valuable. You, you, you are useless to God. You are useless to yourself. But once you're useful to God, you're useful to yourself. So today we're talking about the purpose of belief in worship. Belief starts from the heart, just like worship starts from the heart. And you cannot worship God who you don't believe in. And even the scriptures say that the person who must come to God must believe. You must believe. If you must come to God, if you must worship Him, you must believe. You cannot be worshiping God and you are entertaining doubts in your heart. You must believe. You must believe in first. It says the Scripture says the person who will work, uh, come to God must believe that He is and He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So you must believe in who God is, that He is person who must come to God must believe that he is. Starting from that he is, he exists. Starting um, from he exists to who he is, his personality. And you know, you must understand God to fully understand yourself because you're created in his image. So the person who must come to God must believe that God is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Uh, John 9 38 he said and uh, the man came to him and said Lord I believe and worship no meaningful worship is uh, devoid of faith in God no meaningful worship is devoid of believing in first the existence of God and the personality of God, who God is, you must believe. And when you are, you have got through that stage, then can you really worship Him? Jesus said, "Our comment and now is when true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. You will be a deceiver, deceiving yourself." When you do not believe and you say you are worshiping God, you don't believe in the God you are worshiping. You are a deceiver, you are not worshiping the truth. But if you are a true worshiper, then definitely you must believe. Faith is what starts the process. Faith is what starts the process. And I call you every worshiper and everyone interested in true worship believe 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 if you can believe all things are possible if you can believe then you can worship god meaningfully if you can believe thank you very much join us uh, in the discussion on whatsapp and uh, let's continue in this hundred nights of worship it's a worship marathon God bless you hey, hey there is none like you